So I listened to this video, part two from the atheist cosmic skeptic. Skeptic, morality is not objective. Part two is dealing with Sam Harris's The Moral Landscape. landscape. And I can't even for the life of me unfathom where this guy is coming from. Now, it's, it's a strange thing, because normally this guy's name is Cosmic Skeptic, and normally he's, you know, he's pretty bright. He's one of the more intelligent of the atheists. I've seen a couple of his debates, and he's, he's certainly not no dummy, but his fuzzy thinking on the subject of morality is almost mind-boggling. How he, he just doesn't understand the most basic concept of subjectivity, and, you know, it, it's, it's mind-boggling to me. He, he takes on Sam Harris's The Moral Landscape. Um, completely misunderstands the point of Sam Harris that ha Sam Harris is making in the moral landscape. Now that part at the beginning, that part may not be 100% his fault. Um, Sam Harris's take on morality isn't all that complicated, but Sam Harris has a tendency to dress it. He doesn't just spell it out for you in its most simple form. So there's confusion as to what exactly he means, and he tends to not actually spell out what his moral landscape means and what he means by it, but he starts, he just uses it as a starting off point, and then he goes into this subject and that subject and this subject and that subject. So the confusion about what Sam Harris means in the moral landscape could be Sam Harris's fault. But outside of that, the, the guy is very confused as, uh, as to subjectivity versus objectivity and what causes pain and why pain occurs. I mean, it's totally fuzzy, like... It was like almost wondrous to listen to because it was so completely off base, which is strange for that guy because, like I said, he's one of the brighter atheists. So let's start with Sam Harris's book. Now, like I said, Sam Harris complicates it, but in its most simple form, what Sam Harris means by his version of objective morality is actually really quite simple. Now, he has ways of explaining it that don't, aren't quite as successful, but he, he says human flourishing, for example. It's not really the best word you can use, but in its most simple form, what he is saying is you have a group of people over here, and you have a group of people over here, and you can determine objectively, empirically, through analysis, which behaviors and ethics are being practiced by this group of people over here versus this group of people over here, which makes them more successful in healthier, well-developed, economically successful, more cooperative, all sorts of different areas versus this group over here. You can study these behaviors that are commonly referred to as morals or values or ethics. You don't have to necessarily call them that, but you can still objectively, empirically determine which of these behaviors produce more benevolent results in both an individual and a group of people or a society at large. This is actually axiomatic. This is a no-brainer. His concept is perfectly sound and it's perfectly reasonable and ultimately there is no arguing with it. Something I've talked about prior to me even here in Sam Harris's concept of it. It's why I said in a bunch of my older videos. The idea that morality is subjective is something that is going the way of the dinosaurs. It's just not, it's not an intellectually feasible... It's not. It's, Sam Harris is in the beginning stages of, of building constructing a rock-solid foundation for, you know, it's where the, where the dialogue gets confusing is Sam Harris doesn't need a god to show you that morality is not subjective, it's objective. He is correct. His analysis is straightforward, and his, his thinking on the subject is actually rock-solid and true. Now, he doesn't present it in a way that, to, he doesn't present it how I just presented it to you, in a way that's straightforward and easy to understand. That's its most simple form. Yeah, it kind of is related to utilitarianism. I, I hear that, if you said that, if you're thinking that. It's not that dissimilar. Now, where Cosmic Skeptic goes with it, I can't even for the life of me imagine. He gets really, really confused. He does an analogy with a hot stove. And he blames Sam Harris for the confusion. And again, I, Sam Harris isn't clear on the language. He says, touching a hot stove sucks objectively speaking. Okay, that's not clear enough. But this guy runs with the concept. And he goes, you know, touching a hot stove. Right, that's, that's, my, that's my cosmic sense. Not good. All right, well, I, can't, I can't help it. I gotta, I gotta do an English act. Touching a hot stove is, according to Sam Harris, objectively bad. 
But it's not objectively bad. Okay, I'll, I'll, I, won't do the, I won't do the invitation. It's not that good. All right, I'll let it go. He, he, he makes an analogy. If everybody got together and decided that painting the room blue would be the best way to paint the room, that doesn't mean that that's the best way to paint the room. Fine, because that's subjective in its most simplest form. He confuses subjective and objective. Understand, subjective means simply this according to personal opinion or whim, period, subjective. Do you like this color blue? Yeah, it's okay. No, it's objectively good. <laughs> There's no way to, it can be objectively good. You either like it, nah, it's subjective. So if everybody decides that the blue is the best color for the room, that doesn't mean it is objectively the best color for the room. He's correct on that. But he compares that to touching a hot stove. That's inane. This is where I said I can't even imagine how he could make that big of, a, of an error. Touching a hot stove is not, quote unquote, bad because everybody has decided that it's bad and pain is a bad thing. I mean, that's nonsensical. <laughs> no, touching a hot stove is objectively speaking, no ifs, ands, or buts, no opinions involved, harmful to your finger, period. That's what the pain indicates. The pain indicates harm, not something beneficial. Pain is not some generic experience that floats down from outer space for no particularly good reason. 99 times out of 100, pain is telling you something. If it's physical pain in your body, it's telling you something's not right. You need to go get something checked out. You aren't well. <laughs> if it's pain in a relationship, it's telling you something too. Something's not right with this relationship. You need to think about it. You need to analyze what's going on. Pain is not just some generic experience. It's an indicator of something. It's an indicator of ill health, usually, or something harmful. Sam Harris is 100% correct. If there is pain in a group of people, sociological ruin or destruction, that is a sign that something is harmful occurring. Generally speaking, things that we consider good values or ethics are beneficial and they have empirically, you are empirically able to discover their beneficial effects. They produce well-being, not sickness, not illness, as opposed to harm. It's not subjective. You're touching a hot stove, that's not a subjective experience of pain. Yeah, how much pain you experience is subjective, fine. Talk about badass like myself, a big hardcore Christian. Pfft, touch a hot stove all morning long. Touch a hot stove all morning long. I'd be like, please, that all you got? Come on. Go make me a sandwich. Yeah. I'd be like, pain don't hurt. But some little wussy English atheist, he'd be like, ah! No, okay, so fine. The, the, the experience of the pain is subjective. But pain itself is not. It is an indicator. Touching a hot stove is not a subjectively harmful experience. It's objectively harmful to your finger, hence the pain. The pain is alarming, is, is indicating to you, stop touching the stove. It's not generically speaking bad. It's harmful. And this is where he confuses all of what Sam Harris is talking about and actually kind of misrepresents everything Sam Harris means. Now, part of it is Sam Harris's fault, like I said at the beginning. But the other part of it is just he's just not understanding basic concepts. You can objectively decide whether something is destructive to a human being or not. Just like you can with nutrition. Sam Harris has likened it to nutrition. It's a perfect analogy. Yeah, you can eat all sorts of different foods and still get the proper nutrients. But you still, you can, you can still objectively, empirically decide what a body needs to be properly to have its proper nutrition. It is very, very similar to the ethics, the values, the ideas in a human being. You can pull them out brick by brick and discover which ethics, which values, which ideas about life are going to be more likely, empirically, objectively speaking, to produce well-being in that individual and hence well-being in the society at large. Sam Harris is 100% correct. That can, be dis that can be determined objectively as much as anything else to the best of your ability. So, 
What cosmic skeptic is where 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 he's going with his his thing? I have no idea, but it's all off. It's all off. It's totally it's totally false. Amen.